Almost two years ago, we told you the state had not yet put the former Butler Correctional Facility up for sale after closing it in 2014. And it appears little has changed, despite costing more than a million dollars to maintain so far. Here in the rural community of Red Creek, the opportunities for job growth are sparse. With a population of about 500, this eastern Wayne County village is struggling for its very survival. In 2014, it was dealt a major blow when the state shut down the nearby Butler Correctional Facility, one of 13 state prisons shuttered by Governor Andrew Cuomo. When Butler closed, 130 jobs went elsewhere. Clearly, uh, we don't have a very robust, uh, you know, a job market around here. Uh, so whenever we lose something of that caliber, 130 some jobs, that's that's big for us. Chuck Palermo is mayor of Red Creek and openly wonders what appeal the former prison would have for a private sector investor. You don't see, you know, all of a sudden something closing and then there's a vacuum of, oh well, gosh, that's going to open up opportunity for so many other businesses to come in and do that. No, no, that's not the case. And its impact stretches beyond the neighboring rural communities. Every year it sits vacant, this former prison is costing you, the state taxpayers, $358,000 to pay for maintenance, utilities, and security guards. More than one and a half times the annual operating budget for the entire village of Red Creek. The scale of what the state spends, that may be a drop in the bucket, but again, in relationship to what we do on a small community scale, gosh, that's that's such a such a tremendous waste. The state's economic development agency was tasked with trying to find a buyer for the empty prison. But as of today, the state has still not even put out a request for proposals, which would start the process for Butler to be redeveloped. So we went to this man, Howard Zemsky, president of Empire State Development, to find out why the delay, despite the continued cost to maintain it. So we'll ultimately issue an RFP in the meantime, as we have with some of the other correctional facilities, um, we've ded dedicated some funds uh, for economic transformation in and around uh, that region. But back up a minute. That's similar to what Zemsky told us almost two years ago when we first started questioning the state's lack of enthusiasm in marketing the property. What's the holdup? We'll get to it. We can't move everything at the same time. Certainly, there are challenges to finding a proper reuse for a medium security prison campus. But Zemsky remains confident. Getting expressions of interest from folks, from potential uh, redevelopers, is important. We do engage actively with the community in this process. Um, you know, in time, we will succeed. State points out that it has saved taxpayers millions of dollars by closing Butler Correctional. And Butler isn't the only mothballed prison that remains unsold. Of the 13 prisons closed since 2011, 10 are upstate, and New York has only sold three of them.